This is the Redmi Pad from Xiaomi. It was just announced. It's a 10.1 inch tablet, quad stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. But not only that, we have a 90 hertz refresh rate display on this device that gives us the ability of not only just enjoying content, but also having a smoother running display on a budget friendly tablet. This is TK and this is the Redmi Tab from Xiaomi. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So this is the package that we get there. We have the Redmi Pad itself. There's a few options available as far as the color. Uh, we have a 8,000 milliampere battery that's supported with a 22 watt charger in the box, although it charges at 18 watts when it's connected directly into the tablet. We have USB-A to USB-C cable that's also included. And of course, the tablet itself. 8,000 milliampere battery, eight megapixel primary sensor on the back, the only sensor on the back. Um, when we look on the left side, you'll notice that there is actually some configuration options that we can see here. Let's let me get it to focus. You can see the dual speakers on the left side as well as the dual speakers on the right side. And you can definitely see here the Dolby Atmos logo look put in there for the optimization. And we have a power button that's sitting here on the left, a volume rocker that's on the top, a microphone, another microphone, and of course, the SIM tray option here. Well, actually the SIM, <laughs> the SD card. This is not a SIM card. You're able to expand the storage that's built into this. And as far as the configurations that we're able to get, it's going to be featuring an LPDDR4X uh, memory and UFS 2.2 as far as the storage. Now, all the options that are available for the storage and RAM configuration that we have in here will support an SD card. So there's a 364, a 4128, and a 6128. That's going to be the range of uh, storage and RAM configuration. But again, as far as the storage, you're able to expand with the SD card built in here. It is powered by the Helio G99 by MediaTek. So let's go ahead and go into the settings tab. We'll go under tablet about Again, MIUI 13.1.1 is running here on top of Android 12, so definitely running the latest with an August 1st security patch update. Now, the model that I have does have 828 gigs of internal storage and it has four gigabytes of RAM. So it's kind of more of like the middle of the ground uh, on there. But again, it does have two additional gigs of RAM used from the internal storage. So in theory, this has six gigs of RAM uh, as far as usable for us. All the customizations and the options that we normally have in here. Now, one thing I did notice though, that there is no fingerprint sensor on here. So you're obviously gonna be using the other options that are available in here. The Google Feed is sitting on the left and everything runs pretty smoothly. I did set the display straight up to go with 90 frames per second. So you can go straight into the display section and then of course drop down to refresh rate. And that's gonna be the benefit here. So you have either custom or basically we keep it straight or the default. The default is more of a basically a hybrid between the two. But for me, I wanna run at the best resolution since we have a large battery. Again, uh, that's gonna be able to last us for quite some time with a nice large 10.1 inch display. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about before we get too far, obviously, again, this is running the Helio uh, G99 from MediaTek. It's essentially a very power efficient uh, processor that's gonna be married very well with this display that gives us the ability of actually Actually enjoying the content for quite a long time because again 8,000 milliampere battery built in so 538 on the single core 1796 on the multi-core uh, I didn't do a speed test because this is only a Wi-Fi option with an SD card expansion slot uh, the banding that you're noticing here is primarily due to the fact that the camera I'm recording on is at 30 frames per second and this is refreshing at 90 frames per second so this is something to keep in mind overall when we're looking at this we have quad, uh, quad speakers with uh, Dolby configuration again 8 megapixel on the back and 8 megapixel on the front now, as far as content consumption, there's not going to be any question about that. But now, as far as the camera experience, we obviously have photo, video, and different options in here. One thing I will probably say is this is a tablet. So with the G99, 1080p 30 frames per second is going to be the best resolution on both the front and on the back when it comes down to video. So it's not going to be the most performant uh, tablet options as far as what you want to do with this. But again, on a tablet, the best experience when it comes down to the cameras are going to be for video calls. And of course, if you're in a chat and you want to be able to have a video a conversation in there. But for the most part, I don't recommend you taking this out and trying to take a lot of pictures with it it's not really going to perform what you think it will this again is a tablet uh, i'm not trying to joke about it but essentially it's made for content consumption not necessarily content creation you'll notice i do have pubg mobile installed and that's going to be one of the things we're going to check out in a second but before we go too far i wanted to kind of share with you guys a quick sample of the front facing and the back facing videos okay we're going to start off with the front facing camera this is again an 8 megapixel camera sensor same on the front and on the back so for the most part the experience or at least the picture should be pretty much of the same except maybe the front facing camera uh, may not be as clear but we'll have to see switching it over to the 8 megapixel sensor on the back 1080p 30 is going 
going to be pretty much the same. I don't think there's any stabilization, so I do apologize for the wobble. I'm holding the tablet at about arm's length uh, straight to me. So this should be a pretty good example of what the audio and video look like and sound like from the main camera or the only camera on the back. Okay, now we're switching over obviously to audio as far as testing out the four speakers that we have in here. I'm going to go ahead and go to 100% here on the, <laughs> not the powering off. Let's go ahead 100% on the speakers. Again, we have Dolby Atmos configuration already built in. And one of the big benefits, of course, is the ability of enjoying four speakers, top and bottom on both the right side and the left side of the brand new Redmi Pad. So we'll go ahead and play our favorite song, Alex Grindo's Jumbo by NCS Release. And let's go ahead and start. Jack it up. Now, one thing I will say is the fact that we have four speakers is the first big bonus that we have, but the fact is also that it is also very loud and very nice, and it sounds very bassy. So the acoustics definitely resonate on both the right side and the left side on here, and of course, the large display will not disappoint as far as the audio experience. Now, of course, one thing I will probably say is the main thing you're thinking about is how does obviously this is gonna perform when it comes down to gaming. I will say that overall, this is not a gaming processor. The G99 is intended to be more of a power efficient processor. And what we're getting here essentially is again, a more of a content consumption. Now, you're not gonna have any problems playing games. I was playing PUBG Mobile on this for quite some time. And one of the biggest differences I will probably say is that it just doesn't support much higher resolutions, kind of like what we saw with the 12T from Xiaomi. So the biggest difference is, this is definitely gonna be a casual gaming experience uh, for no problem at all. We have the game turbo option that we have built here or the game space similar to what we saw before. Although not the exact same configuration with the boost options, but it definitely looks and it runs very nicely. Let's go ahead and let it finish. So you'll notice a very similar experience to what we see before. We have a boost mode. We have obviously do not disturb, video recording, voice changer, and timing. And one of the biggest thing I'll probably end up saying here, as far as performance and what we get here, different than some of the other options, we'll go into graphics and option. Uh, balanced, or well, to get the best frame rate, you need to go balanced. If you go to HD, that's gonna basically give you high refresh rate, the HDR, and of course, anything higher than that is not supportive. So for me, if since this is a large display and I wanna get the best experience, I decided to go with balanced, ultra, and colorful, and that was able to give me the experience that we're gonna share with you guys right now as far as gameplay. It's pretty smooth, it's a large display, it's not gonna be the best performance uh, when it comes down to basically quality as far as image and frame rate, but for actual gaming, casual gaming, this is definitely gonna work pretty nicely. And of course, Call of Duty Mobile will run pretty much the same experience. Let me share with you guys a quick sample of what it looks like to play PUBG. And the last thing I want to share with you guys, of course, is uh, this is a 90 hertz refresh rate, as I showed you guys in the beginning. We are running it at 90 frames per second, and it is clocking in and running at 90 frames per second without a hiccup at all. Uh, if you ever want to test it out or display on your device, you could definitely go just to testufo.com and, of course, run your test from there. And as far as the gaming experience, it's not going to be basically uh, outperforming any smartphone on the market, definitely not the 12T or the 12T Pro. Uh, this is really more, more so meant for uh, content consumption. The G99 married with the display, the 90 hertz refresh rate and of course the 8000 milliampere battery makes this a content consumption uh, perfectly for content consumption so watching movies enjoying shows binging on shows listening to music you can put this on the table and just play the sound straight from the speakers you're not going to be disappointed stereo speakers tuned with Dolby Atmos is definitely very nice so for the price point and the features my recommendation would be is at least go for the four gigabyte model because with that and the two gigs of additional RAM that they add in there you're running closer to the six gig model than you are running to the three gig models since with two, that gets you to five. Um, storage capacity shouldn't be too much of an issue since you can offload a lot of that into an SD card. That's definitely very nice. It is one of the few devices that Xiaomi still releases uh, that still has an SD card option on it as far as storage expansion. So great tablet, solidly built. There's no flexing, no creaking at all. It's very nice. Redmi makes really good products and they're always definitely the bang for the buck. You don't pay what it's worth, but you're getting so much more. So 
Thank you very much to Xiaomi, and of course, for letting me check out the uh, Redmi tab. Uh, make sure to check out some of the other content that I'm putting out to you guys uh, from the show in Berlin, uh, well, not Berlin, in Munich, for the launch event for both the tab as well as the uh, actual uh, 12T Pro that I put out the video earlier today. Uh, the other thing is, of course, I'm going to be working on this one. This is the Smart Band 7 Pro from Xiaomi. That video is going to be coming up a little bit later on this week as soon as I get back into the office, as I'm trying to build up a little bit more information into this. But so far, very promising, very light, and definitely an upgrade to some of the other Mi Bands that I've used in the past. Large, beautiful display, and it works great. And I have it currently paired to that 12T, uh, the 12T Pro from Xiaomi. So thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.